let us discuss about the topic bluetooth and its architecture and layers of the bluetooth first what is bluetooth bluetooth is a wireless lan technology device which is designed to connect devices of different functions example telephones computers cameras printers coffee makers and so on a bluetooth is a lan ad hoc network which means the network is formed spontaneously here the nearby gadgets make a network that network is called as an ad hoc network the next see upon the architecture of bluetooth it consists of two networks piconet and scatternet piconet is a small net piconet can have up to eight stations one of which is a primary and the rest are called as secondaries uh, a piconet can have a maximum of seven secondaries an additional eighth secondary can be in the parked state a secondary in the parked state is synchronized with the primary but cannot take part in a communication until it is moved from the parked state the next it is a example for piconet is a primary station connected to the secondaries the next one scatternet scapiconets can be combined to form a network called scatternet first one it is one piconet and it forms a second another piconet two piconets combine to form a scatternet here a secondary station in one secondary station in one piconet can be the primary in another piconet the next one bluetooth layers bluetooth the first one is radio layer it is equivalent to the physical layer of internet model bluetooth have a low power bluetooth devices are low power and range it covers a range of 10 meter here the band is 2.4 gigahertz band it divides 79 channels divides 79 channels of 1 megahertz each then the method used is frequency hopping spread spectrum method fhs is frequency hopping spread spectrum method this method is used to avoid the interference from other devices or other networks bluetooth hops 1600 times per second which means each which means each device changes its modulation frequency 1600 times per second the next modulation used is gfsk gfsk means gaussian frequency shift keying modulation uh, it it is that fsk with gaussian bandwidth filtering here uh, gfsk has a carrier frequency uh, bit 1 is, is represented as the frequency deviation above the carrier and bit 0 represents frequency deviation below the carrier the next layer is the baseband layer is equivalent to the max sub layer in the lan network the radio layer is equivalent to the physical layer of the internet model and baseband and layer is equivalent to the max sub layer in the lan network the method used is tdma tdma means time division multiple access here the primary and the secondary station communicate with each other using the time slots the time uh, length of a time slot is 625 microsecond is same as the dwell time is same as the dwell time dwell time this means that during the time that one frequency is used either a sender send a frame to the secondary or a secondary sends a frame to the primary the next one physical links here the two types of physical links are used synchronous connection oriented link and asynchronous connectionless link synchronous connection oriented link is used where our when avoiding latency is more important than integrity avoiding latency means delay in data delivery and integrity is the error free delivery uh, acl is used when data integrity is more important than avoiding latency if a packet is damaged in this physical link it is never retransmit here the frame is corrupted or uh, damaged it is retransmit the frame again the next frame format of the frame format 
First one access code. Access code is a 72 bit field. It contains the synchronization bits. It's a 72 bit field contains synchronization bits. The identifier of the primary is to distinguish the frame from one picconent to another. Identifier of the primary is to distinguish the frame from one picconent to another. The next one header. Header the 54 bit field. It's a repeated pattern of 18 bits. At three times. It repeats the 18 bit pattern three times. First one address. Address is a three bit and subfield it defined up to seven secondaries here the address is zero is used for broadcast communication from the primary to all the secondaries address is zero means it's used for the broadcast communication the next one type is a four bit subfield which defines the type of data coming from the upper layers defines the type of data then f is a flow control it indicates the buffer is full or not that means the NA it is it indicates that receiver doesn't able to receive more frames receiver doesn't able to receive more frames then a, a is the acknowledgement here the blue bluetooth uses stop and wait automatic stop and wait automatic repeat ray request method the next one s yes, is the sequence number the next hec is the header error correction 8 bit subfield is used to detect errors in each header section used to detect. the next one data or payload is it contains data or control information coming from the upper layers the next layer in is L2CAP layer. L2CAP layer means logical link control and adaptation protocol layer. It is equivalent to equivalent to LLC sublayer. LLC means logical link control sublayer in the local a in LAN connections, local area networks. The next L2CAP data packet format. It consists of length. It represents the size of the data. The next channel ID is a unique identifier for the virtual channel created at this level. And then it contains the information about data and control. Then L2CAP functions. The special duties of L2CAP layer are multiplexing, segmentation and reassembly, quality of service and group management. First one, multiplexing. Multiplexing means at the sender site, it accepts the data from the upper layers, frame them and then deliver to the baseband layer. Multiplexing. Sender site. And then receiver site. Sender site, it accepts the data and frames them. Accept data and then frame, frames them and delivers them to baseband layer. Deliver them to baseband. Accept the data from upper layer protocols accept data from upper layer protocols and then it frames them and then deliver them to the baseband layer at the receiver site it accepts a frame accepts that frames accept frames from baseband accept frame from baseband layer and then extract the data, extract the data and delivers to the appropriate protocol layers, delivers to protocol layers. This is the function of multiplexing. The next one segmentation and 
reassembly segmentation in the sense the large packets is segmented into small packets and it adds some information to define the location of the segments in the original packet here the segmentation is done at the source side and reassemble them at the destination the next one qos that is quality of service bluetooth office uh, allows the station to define quality of service it will do its best under the circumstances the next group management is similar to multicasting is similar to multicasting it allows the devices to create a type of logical addressing for example two or three secondary devices can be a part of multicast group to receive data from its primary